Prime Minister Andrew Hollis, please to offer your resignation today at 2 p.m. Provided you, do, you don't offer your resignation, the files are at every media houses. We're dropping the files one by one at every media houses. We have the WhatsApp details. Enough, we have gathered enough evidence from people who have resigned in government. They want you down. It is alleged, Prime Minister, we don't know if there's any truth to it. That in the Ministry of Education, we are told, you're the mastermind behind the corruption. It is alleged that the monies that were taken from CMU and the Ministry of Education was used. Is there any truth? The, the, monies, the monies that came from the Ministry of Education and the CMU was used in the last election. Was the monies taken from CMU and the Ministry of Education, is there any truth that Royal Reed was the lamb of the slaughter and you silently agreed to pay Royal Reed off and to keep him as a private consultant on international projects in other regions? Is there any truth to that, Prime Minister? Prime Minister Holness, is there any truth that you and Mr. Lee Chin have formed some alliance and agreements so that the Chinese power, their U.S. Embassy, we are told that the Chinese and Mr. Holness have had secret agreements. We're being told that the Chinese has interest we're being told we don't know if there's any truth to it we're being told that the chinese want to take over our transport system u.s government you warn about china be wary not beware of chinese gifts if the chinese give us these have we seen what they have done to africa the silt road they have given the african presidents and everybody every gift every gift and the chinese are taking over africa and even making the african subjects to them u.s government the chinese are in the region why is this gentleman by the name of quincy the transgender who is a revivalist giving me warning Quincy, I come under the order of the Orisha people. Shinka tunka tunka sianda mayana masika nya mama katinda manku tubundi masianda makutu mbumbo santiamba. I know the Chinese dragons are here. I know they sent their how many people on the live now? So my final word to Quincy, who Quincy told me, Jamaica, that he's Peter Bunting's nephew. And he told me, I have the WhatsApps, I have the messages. I, he told me that Peter Bunting is an evil uncle. Peter Bunting, do you have anybody by the name of Sean who seeks political asylum? Peter Bunting, the young man, says that you're awful and you're wicked. And you're, he also alleged that you are a bisexual. And he's now telling me that him and his ancestors and the people of revival faith will curse me if I come after the Prime Minister. But I come from an order that is the Aben. And when the Aben is sounded, you know why I've been so silent from morning? I've been silent from morning because I've been chanting the ancestors have spoken to me. Mr. Leachin, can you declare whether or not you have interest in the maroon town and to do the box in the, the mining in the maroon town? And if you, there's mining to be done in the maroon town, did you agree with the Prime Minister and his wife for the wife of the Prime Minister to have the haulage business and the Prime Minister will get shares? Is there any truth to this argument?
President Biden President and Prime Minister Boris Johnson, Jamaica does not want to become a Haiti. Jamaica is positioned geographically, strategically, that we can be the logistics hub of the world. The logistics hub of the world. We can be the transit route. The Chinese wants Goat Island. The Goat Island, based on agreement, belongs to the U.S. U.S. government, are you ready to sit with Jamaica? Are you ready to use interventions to end corruption? Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, Canada. Can we tr you tag Justin Trudeau? Justin Trudeau, Andrew Holness is alleged to be one of Jamaica's most pol corrupt political leaders. Justin, Prime Minister of Canada. The conversation is no longer about the corruption in Jamaica. It's now about a new Jamaica. So, Prime Minister Holness, I sent you a WhatsApp this morning and I ask for your resignation. The U.S. government would have preferred you being in an international place as the president. You could be the head of the IMF or the head of the World Bank. You're an economist. You do better being the, pres the, the head of the IMF. I will negotiate in the favor of you becoming the head of the IMF, if provided that you resign. Juliet Holness, the U.S. Embassy and the, the people of England would do well with your expertise in logistics, architectural building. Internationally, a lot of our houses are being built with poor building codes. Juliet Holness, with your level of expertise, please to resign from... East Rural St. Andrew. Please to resign from East. How many people I have on the live now? Jamaica is ready to negotiate. We're not going to negotiate any longer with the Chinese powers. We know our value Chinese powers. We are taking no more gifts from you. We're going to pay you for the gifts that you have given us. The U.S. government, can you help Jamaica with some serious aid to pay off all our debts to China? England, you see, British, Madam Queen Elizabeth II, you're a great woman. I want to do a photo shoot to honor your legacy. To honor your legacy. Can you help Jamaica pay its debt to China? U.S. Canada and British Britain Help Jamaica to be debt free If you help Jamaica to be debt free We can give Chinese all And I'm going to declare The war that is about to happen is because of Jamaica And I, Andre Stevens, know my power U.S. Embassy We need back Africa The woman say my mouth dirty like dog. Is the dirty dog I go save you? So you and your picnic can name food. Is the dirty dog I go make sure the Chinese not come. Come take away your job. And then tell us the egg you'll go up in that and come out of this. Don't you see Claudia Chin? The dirty dog. US Embassy. You see how they send the people. Queen Elizabeth the Great, the second. Look how them send Claudia Chin to come and attack me. Look there. I know that my mouth is dirty because I'm diabetic. And when you see these white skulls, it's not that I'm hungry. It's because I'm speaking. And when I speak a lot, these things show up. It is health. It is a health cause. There's nothing wrong with me. It's just because I'm diabetic. And even if I wipe it off now, yeah. It's going to come back. It's called candidiasis. Yeah. So whilst you cussing me, I'm here saving the nation. 
U.S. Embassy. U.S. Embassy. Africa needs help. One of the most corrupt African countries is Nigeria. Ambassador Dr. Maureen Tamuno. Is there any truth the reason why you and Juliet Holness have become close friends is to continue the corruption of your government with the government of Jamaica? Ambassador Dr. Maureen Tamuno. Is there any truth that you're a politician that was one of the most corrupt mayors in Lagos? Dr. Maureen Tamano, if there's any truth to this, were you sent on the mission to aid Jamaica in becoming more corrupt? Dr. Maureen Tamano, we know that you came here with a plot to bear gifts to Jamaica with the exchange programs to take some of Jamaica's best. We have it, the intelligence. Ambassador Janet Olisa. Ambassador Janet Olisa. The people of Jamaica needs you back as the ambassador. The people of Jamaica needs you back as the ambassador for Nigeria. President of Nigeria, listen to the call and remove Maureen Tamunu as the ambassador for she has her political interest. She is here for her political agendas. She is a part, we are, we are being told, of a corruption between Nigeria and the Jamaican government. President of Nigeria, remove her or we the people will. We welcome, we welcome Janet Olisa as the president, as as the ambassador for the Nigerian High Commissioner. We don't want Maureen Tamono. We want all of them. D Tamono, remove yourself. All of you are corrupt. It is alleged that a woman was raped by the nephew of Maureen Tamono. And she was silenced. That's the level of corruption that Dr. Maureen Tamunu is alleged to be involved in. How can you have an ambassador's nephew raping other women in Jamaica and getting away with it? Maureen Tamunu, go back to your country with your nastiness. And you friend the Prime Minister's wife because you want her and you to cover up these things. U.S. Embassy has licked. We, the people of Jamaica, will not welcome Kamina Johnson-Smith. Please to take back the credentials. Please to take back the credentials and send back Maureen Tamuno to Nigeria. She Look at her research. She's a part of a corrupt government in Nigeria. Maureen Tamuno, come out of Nigeria house. And I have sent the Orisha people at you. Shevel Franklin. Shevel Franklin. How can you be a Christian and be sitting amongst Maureen Tamuno? When it is alleged that her nephew raped, raped, raped a other Nigerian woman who keeps the Nigeria fest here in Jamaica. The Jollof party and the woman was silenced. They used their corrupt acts and silenced the woman. Maroon Tamuno, tell Jamaica whether or not your nephew raped. Raped the woman. And if your nephew did not rape the woman, what evidence do you have to purport she was telling a lie? 
Maroon Tamono, the U.S. Embassy does not support rape and violence against women. This is the level of corruption that is happening in Africa. And the Africans, the Africans are one of the set of the most corrupt in the world. UK government, Boris Johnson, Justin Trudeau, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris. Let us clean up the nastiness in Africa, especially in Nigeria, Ethiopia. Should lead the Nigerian council, the African council. The South Africans have become corrupt. Justin Trudeau, Joe Biden, Boris Johnson. How can we have an ambassador in our country who is as alleged that her nephew raped another Nigerian national? The woman seeked the audience. Dr. Maureen Tamono. And she silenced the woman. I have the voice notes. I will play them there at US Embassy. How the woman is in her fear. The woman is in fear. And it is alleged that the Prime Minister of Jamaica, if you go on Juliet Holness's Instagram page, you will see an ambassador in Jamaica in green. In green. On the road doing campaigns with the Prime Minister's wife. We, the people of Jamaica, we do not ap appreciate political dogs coming under the ploy to be political dogs. Go on to let one next page and see where you see a fat woman in green. She and Juliet will stun best friend. What kind of work can the ambassador be doing? That she's in on Christmas, on roads in Christmas, sweeping up, doing um Christmas work, a clean up road. I thought the purpose of the ambassador is to be a diplomat. I'm asking for the US government to investigate if there's any truth to the argument that the people of Nigeria in Jamaica have covered up an allegation that the nephew of Dr. Maureen Tamono, the nephew of Dr. Maureen Tamono, is there any truth to the argument that the nephew of Dr. Maureen Tamono raped here in Jamaica another Nigerian national? President of the Republic of Nigeria, we have lost confidence in your diplomatic representative. Please end her relationship with the Jamaican government. Please to reinstate Dr. Janet Olisa. Please to reinstate Janet Olisa. Or the people of Jamaica will not welcome the Nigerian ambassador. She is corrupt, we are told. Not knowing if there is any truth. We are told that she is involved in a chains of nepotism. It has always been said... Nigerian president, the people the people of Nigeria the people of Jamaica relations have been for over 50 years we have never had this level of nastiness under the auspices of Ambassador Olisa Ambassador Olisa was known as the most loved ambassador in Jamaica she was even rated more than the ambassadors in other circles Don't, Mr. Tapia ambassador Tapia never had the love as if ambassador as if never had the love if you wanted to have a good reception ambassador Janet Olisa was the place to be Nobody wants to do any work at the Nigerian embassy under the hospices. She is said to be one of the most corrupt, nastiest women. Send her back. And then she comes, we're told, under the name Jesus. She will not be forgiven for the crimes against women. She herself was a woman, it is alleged, covered up the rape of 
a Nigerian national. U.S. Embassy, there's a lot more that I can tell you. We ask, the pres the, the, we ask Ambassador Janet Olisa, Jamaica Observer, TVJ, Dion Jackson Miller, Cliff Hughes, Cliff Hughes, Cliff Hughes, Dion Jackson Miller, CVM TV, Loop Jamaica. Find out whether or not there was a woman that was raped by the nephew of the Nigerian ambassador. Find out. I can send you the evidences of the screenshots of what the woman was doing and how they locked down. She had called the African radio station and she had reported it. I don't remember the name. Of, can Jamaica tell me what is the African radio station? She called it. And I think it was about October when the ambassador was not the ambassador was not in the country in the time of the rape. But when it is being told that the ambassador came back, the woman seeked the audience of the ambassador and the ambassador said, okay, she'll handle the business. And the woman covered, if the ambassador were told, covered every track for her nephew because she did not want it to be exposed because that could take her down. Well, Ambassador Maureen Tamunu, when you blocked me, when your niece, Dian Tamunu, blocked me, you never knew you made me an enemy. And I, am I wrong to have kept it a secret? Yes, I'm wrong to have kept it a secret. I should have seeked diplomatic cables. But in the house of cards, you know when to trade off. And this is a trade off to the people of Nigeria. Give us back Janet Olisa and take the garbage, take the garbage, take the garbage of Maureen Tamun. We don't want her. We don't want her. Take that filth out of our country. We don't want any man, woman, or child who is a part of a nepotistic and corrupt system to be here. Janet Olisa is the authority of what it means to be an ethical woman. U.S. Embassy, go and research Janet Olisa. She can be the head of missions to Africa. If Janet Olisa is the head of missions to Africa, I will be her special envoy. I will go on all missions for her. Janet Olisa, come back to Jamaica. Let us have tea. And please to bring your special assistant, Monday. U.S. Embassy, Monday can be the new Nigerian government. We need Kinsley as the head of the Nigerian High Commission. Kinsley. And we want U.S. government. Ambassador Janet Olisa as the head of missions from the U.S. Embassy to the people of Africa. Goodbye, Jamaica. Goodbye. Use today to watch out for all of my writings. And in using that and seeing that, you will see what the ancestors are calling for. Prime Minister Holness,